with this video I'm going to show a couple of techniques to include a border around a picture in picture using um, Adobe Premiere Elements and my version is 2021 but hopefully it should work with previous versions and future versions but you can at least check it out so the first method is relatively simple and then we get on to more um, advanced editing techniques so the basic idea is that I want to put a picture in picture up in the upper right of my main display just to show a different view obviously to do this we need to get another asset drag that down into my editing area but as we can see it's still um, the same size so to change that click on the track and we can change the size of the second track like that and then put it where we want on our display and if we push play they're both running now this video is all about giving us a border so the way we're going to do that is we're going to include another project asset Come down to project assets come down to the menu on the far right called panel options unfortunately it's hidden by the cursor come down to new item and then come down to color mat this produces a menu box it's where you can pick your color so you can either pick it from the chart shown or you can edit numbers directly like this and I'm gonna go for a simple white border which is down in the far bottom left click OK now as you can see it's given me a hundred percent blank white screen which is the color I chose you can choose you can change the color double click that pick another color and we we'll just go for red click OK obviously it's not in the right place in for editing so you want to drag it to be at the start of the video now as you can see it's not the right size again we can drag it to the right size and then we can put it where we want it but obviously at the moment it's the wrong way around so to do that all we need to do is drag things around from track to track and there we go but as you can see it's not the right size so if you wanted to do that select color mat and that will give you the grab handles again which we can then drag for a border and if we push play again we have two videos playing picture in picture one has a border now if I want to be picky is this border precise enough is it in the right place etc so if we were not so canny with our positioning and our uh, size we might end up with something like that and it can take a bit of fiddling to get things in the right place however Adobe Premiere Elements has a natty little feature where you can copy the properties of one video and place it on the properties of another video. So what we do here is we go to track 3 and we can do copy and then we come down to track 2 right mouse and paste effects and adjustments. Now what's that obviously done is it's made the color mat exactly the same size as the tracker video too and put it in exactly the same position so all we have to do now is change the size of it so we can do that and we can try and grab the handles again and for some reason it's not letting me do it but we'll go to the preferred method anyway so if we come over to the right hand side on my display and go to effects editor 
make sure we have the right track selected video 2 the mat the color mat come up to motion and then we have an option here for scale and what we can do is we can type in 42 or something that's slightly bigger pick a number hit return and now we have a border not quite big enough so let's increase it to 43 hit return slightly better okay so that's how we can do a basic video uh, sorry basic border around a picture in picture if we want it to continue all the way through just drag it to the end and then we'll have a border all the way Adobe Premiere Elements has a number of uh, default options for picture in picture so if we come up to effects and then do a search now I know that picture in picture in Adobe Premiere Elements is PIP for picture in picture and then there are two size options there's a 25% but there's also a 40% like that so this has given me all the options for 40% picture in picture and then if you see here it's got LL and that stands for lower left all right so I want mine in the upper right so if I continue with the filtering and put in UR for upper right that gives me all the options for the upper right and if you click on a particular option it will loop through and show you what that option actually does so let's pick a slightly different one let's have a look at uh, a rotation spin in yeah that looks interesting so we'll drag that so what you do is you left click to select drag it over to your editing and it will only work on a video obviously so if you put it on an audio track it doesn't work you can put it on uh, video 2 the color mat if you wish let's put it on the video like that so at the moment because it's a spin in if we push play ta -da, it ends up not in the same place and uh, not the same size so again what we can do is we can come in here we can go copy paste effects and adjustments and then what we want to do is go to there and if we look at the motion it is at zero the scale is at zero percent because if we look at the motion for the video that is also at zero okay so what we want to do is we want to go further forward in time until it's fully on and have a look at the animation and we can see in here there are two tags for uh, the start and end of the scale range so if we zoom in and if we go to move the cursor until we're on the end and then what we can do is we can type in here 41.5 it's just a number I know works and hit return and now if we push if we go back to the beginning it all disappears to zero and as we push play you see they both come in and that is how we can end up with a border on a picture in picture you can edit anything you like in here zoom in so if for instance you want the uh, the border to come in first we could do something weird with that push play that's a weird effect but it might be something that you want 